Hello, everybody. All right, well, we need to add color to our clay projects. Um, I'm really sorry that we're not gonna get to add glaze, but we don't have time considering today is our last in-person day. But there are some really great options to add color, and we're gonna use um, the tempera cake paint as our option today in class, okay? So I wanna just show you how to do this. Um, so you'll get your project back and it looks white and it's very hard. Be careful not to drop them, okay? Because if you drop them, they will break, all right? Um, I suggest going to get a paper towel from the sink, okay? So put that down underneath your project. And then near the sink, right next to my big sink, there's cups of water and there's also paint brushes. If you want to grab a really big paintbrush for some big areas, and if you need a small paintbrush, you can take two. Okay, get what you need. Um, then fill your cup up with water too, of course. Then go and grab a tray of the tempera cake paint. Okay, now these actually work really great on our projects and they dry very quickly. So let me hold this up close so you guys can see. And remember, you've got to wake up the paint. So get your brush wet in the water. I'm gonna wake up this pink. So trill your brush in there until you see the bubbles. Okay, now the pink is looking good. So I'm gonna to start to paint it. Now, I'm gonna use this paint for the tongue. So as you can see, it's a little watery when it goes on right away, but then it dries very quickly and it actually stays nice and bright. This paint will not be shiny though, okay? So it's not gonna be like a glaze, but at least we're gonna get to add color. So I'm very grateful that we can actually send your projects home with some color on them today. So keep painting, get that done. If you want it to look even brighter, I need a little more water here. If you want it to look even brighter, go over it another time with that color and then it will get brighter. If you do a very light coat with a lot of water, um, then your paint is gonna look more like a pastel kind of shade, okay? So get some more paint on your brush and do another layer, then it looks really bright. And so you can also paint the bottom. Normally when we use glaze, we can't paint the bottom because otherwise it will stick to my kiln. But since these are not gonna be fired again, you're gonna take them with you today, you can actually paint the entire project, okay? So this is how they will look. Let them dry. If you want, if you have extra time in class, you're welcome to go grab a piece of paper. You could do a painting today before you leave. Um, I know I have a lot of kids that are wanting to make like cards so if you would like to make a card, if you're celebrating any holidays coming up, um, paper will be on the front table near the paint and you can use scraps. Um, I have stencils, I have rulers, whatever you guys need. There's markers at your table and pencils and scissors. Um, the crayons are up front by the free draw, okay? So you can use any of those tools to make um, a card or if you just want to finish class by making a painting if you have extra time so but do your project first get this done before you move on and do that some kids might might use the whole class to just work on their project and that's totally fine okay so I can't wait to see all the color you guys add to these they're going to look wonderful all right have fun